Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, July 2 show that Bill Spencer promised to make things right after noticing Pompey Nozawa appeared anxious in her robe. Pompey just pretended to be awestruck by her amazing new life, and as a token of her appreciation, she made love to Bill. Afterward, as Bill and Poppy were having fun, he received a news alert informing him that Tom Starr had overdosed on drugs at Il Giardino the previous evening. Poppy was shocked and uncomfortable, and Bill remembered that it was Tom who had filled her in by spilling water on her. Zend Forrester Dominguez ran into Luna Nozawa at the design office of Forrester Creations. Luna saw this as an opportunity to show off how much she loved her new father and disclosed that Bill intended to adopt her and give her his last name. Since Luna had been waiting a long time to have her father in her life, Zendu was glad for her. On Tuesday's b and program, John Finn Finnegan provided Paul Hollis Hollister and Deacon Sharp with updates from the hospital at Il Giardino. As Bill and Poppy canoodled afterward, he got a news alert and saw that Tom Starr died of a drug overdose at Il Giardino last night. Bill recalled that Tom was the one who spilled water on Poppy and filled her in, so she seemingly reacted with shock and looked uneasy. At Forrester Creations, Zend Forrester Dominguez bumped into Luna Nozawa in the design office. That gave Luna a chance to gush over her new dad so she revealed that Bill was going to give her his last name and adopt her. Zenda was happy for Luna since she'd been waiting a long time to finally have her father in her life. At El Giardino on Tuesday's b and episode, John Finn Finnegan gave Deacon Sharp and Paul Hollis Hollister some updates from the hospital. Deacon thought maybe Tom had died of a stroke or a brain aneurysm, but Finn ultimately revealed that it was a drug overdose instead. That didn't make sense to Deacon since Tom was in recovery and had turned his life around, but Finn acted like relapses were common. Even so, this whole overdose thing clearly didn't sit right with Deacon. It just didn't make sense for Tom to start using again when he was reclaiming his life, not to mention that he seemed fine before the live show. Although Deacon wanted to wait for the full report before he accepted what happened, Finn acted like the preliminary results were enough to figure this out. Deacon argued that people didn't just throw away second chances and used Shayla Sharp as an example, but Finn didn't want to talk about her. In fact, Finn didn't want to make a habit of showing up like this since he didn't want to risk running into Shayla. Deacon speculated that Tom may have died from a brain aneurysm or stroke, but Finn eventually admitted that it was actually a heroin overdose. Deacon found it incomprehensible as Tom had recovered and changed his life, but Finn behaved as though relapses were typical. Still, it was obvious that Deacon wasn't comfortable with the whole overdose situation. Not to mention that Tom appeared fine before to the live event. It just didn't make sense for him to start using again when he was taking back control of his life. Deacon was willing to wait for the complete study before accepting the outcome but Finn pretended that the first findings would suffice to make this determination. Finn was unwilling to discuss Sheila Sharp, despite Deacon's argument that individuals didn't just discard second opportunities. Finn actually didn't want a chance stumbling into Sheila again by consistently arriving in this manner. Finn was interested to know, though, if Tom had a family or close friends. Deacon acknowledged he didn't know of any children Tom had when Finn inquired about it. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Deacon may keep digging for answers, so stick with us for more predictions on what he might uncover. According to the Monday July 1 spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful, Thomas Forrester informed Steffi Forrester that he didn't want her to treat Hope Logan so harshly. Thomas believed that Hope would come to the realization that his engagement to Paris Buckingham was in everyone's best interests if Steffi given her some time. Thomas begged Steffi and Hope to stop fighting since he detested it when they argued, 
Then he left to pick up Douglas Forrester somewhere else. Naturally, Hope and Steffi continued to argue because Hope would not let Steffi continue to interfere with her life. Hope made a suggestion that perhaps she didn't want to let Thomas go, despite Steffi's insistence that she did. But Steffi pretended that Hope had lost out and ought to meet another unmarried person. Steffi said that Thomas has a bright future ahead of him, one without hope. R.J. Forrester was pleased for Luna Nozawa when she told him in the design office that Bill Spencer intended to formally adopt her. R.J. was perplexed, nevertheless, as to why Poppy Nozawa held off on disclosing Bill's paternity for so long. Luna pretended that it didn't surprise her, citing Poppy's penchant for mystery as one of her traits. Jack Finnegan was taken aback to find Lee Finnegan at El Giardino, because he had no memory of her enjoying live music. Lay said that she wasn't aware of any of this and had simply stopped for takeout after her shift at the hospital. Lee accepted Jack's invitation to have a drink, and the two of them made an uneasy toast. Jack questioned Lee's intentions because she was acting a little strange. Sheila Sharp and Justin Barber also had a little conversation prior to the subject of tonight's live performance. With foreboding, Justin swore that he would not miss it for everything. Poppy attempted to persuade Tom Starr at Deacon Sharp's apartment that Bill was Luna's father, citing evidence from a paternity test. Tom countered it was nonsense, saying it was time for Luna to learn the reality. Tom claimed to have spent many a night together, but Poppy said that on that specific night, Tom was dozing off on the tour bus. Poppy further mentioned that the DNA test, which was conducted by her sister, the doctor, conclusively demonstrated that Luna was, in fact, Bill's daughter. After their time together, Tom sought to get in touch with Poppy, but she rejected him, which made him unhappy. Since Poppy didn't want Luna to be around any of it, she said it was due of Tom's partying lifestyle. Poppy said that Tom was bothering her and that the reason her letters were constantly returned was because they have no personal significance for her. To Poppy, Tom was merely a one-time affair from her past. Tom promised Poppy that he would find Luna and inform her that her dad ain't Bill, even though he had a performance to attend. Tom said that whether Poppy came clean or not, Luna would find out the truth. When Poppy was left alone, Tom reaffirmed that it was showtime and claimed he had to hit the can. This made Poppy appear uneasy. Tom was a little anxious before his act back at the restaurant, so he insisted on getting his ice blue sports drink backstage. In the meanwhile, a person with black gloves introduced a white powder into the beverage. After having a brief conversation with Paul Hollis Hollister, Deacon Shyla, and Lee, Tom briefly met Jack, Justin, and Lai. Tom went behind to sip some of the poison drink before taking the stage and entertaining the audience. Between songs, Tom drank more of his drink, and as the performance ended, he eventually passed out. Deacon Hollis and Sheila hurried to aid him. Shortly after, Hollis made a 911 call, stating that they needed to ascertain whether Tom was still alive. Sheila began applying chest compressions after realizing she had no pulse. Don't miss all the exciting news that's still to come. Our b, &B forecasts suggest that when this mystery is solved, some unexpected motivations may come to light. We'll keep you informed on the mayhem as Tom's fate is said to throw some curveballs in the bold and the beautiful spoilers. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.